What's going on guys, this is Seth Ward here and today I am back with another Carolina Panthers video and just topics about what's going on in NFL or free agency and just stuff like that in general. Today I'm going to be talking about and giving you guys a video that you guys can comment down below and see what y'all have to say about this video. What do you uh, fans of the Carolina Panthers think about the Panthers possibly signing A.J. Dillon? A.J. Dillon is, in my my perspective or consideration a power running back he's like six foot uh like 240 pound running back and he's a power back uh yes he, he didn't really do so well i mean he had 600 pat, uh, rushing yards this year probably one of his best years though he only had two touchdowns last year he had seven touchdowns but what do y'all think about this uh for the Carolina panthers miles sanders hopefully he'll have a great season this year coming back of an atrocious season chuba hubbard was clearly the running back number one for uh, for last year's season. He had so, he had better yardage, more touchdowns. I think, in my opinion, too, or probably just any in general. I don't even think that he had a lot of touchdowns because it was just such a horrible season. So uh, last year he accumulated 178 carries, which is tied for 32nd in the league. Uh, rushing yards 613, uh, which is 38th in the league. Not the greatest, but still he is a uh, a great tool for the offense if you are trying to have like that that ground pound type of offense miles sanders in my opinion doesn't cut it he can't even rush sometimes with two yards unless they figure out something that he can like be utilized in a different position or that he may may actually have a decent season this year because last year was terrible um so like, like i said that before uh yards carry which is kind of not which is kind of shocking in my opinion only averaged about 3.4 yards of carry with 56 or tied or tied not tied but ranked 56 in the league and the overall grading is a 75.7 not too bad at all that's actually really good uh, considering that's a green or that's like a, a solid solid what seat now that's a solid d if i no i guess 75 is a good overall grade uh that's like average uh but still for running back that's okay uh, but he also had some pretty solid receiving yards. He went 27 targets for 22 receptions, uh, 223 receiving yards. So that's actually another key asset. That's why he has a 75.7 because he's not bad at catching the ball. Um, uh, considering the Packers, um, I didn't really think they were going to be all that good this year. But they, dang, they actually showed up and they won in the playoffs. And Jordan Love had his best year in a while. So, yeah, he's good at receiving. He's not bad at rushing. He's a power back. And uh, honestly, the Panthers definitely need another power back because losing Deontay Foreman, which I'll go on, I'll die on a hill or hill that the, the Panthers should have never uh, or should have paid Foreman more. Even though I think Foreman didn't want to be here because I mean, who else wouldn't want to be here with uh, David Tepper and all that craziness? But yeah. Um, so and then let's go through his stats from his history. He's been a solid running back in my opinion, um, rushing wise. Uh, he's let's see here uh, his rushing attempts yeah he's been a solid running back uh, after his fret though he has only had like yeah he's been a solid running back 242 yards of rushing uh, 2020's rookie year two touchdowns uh, 2021 had a really good year with 803 rushing yards five touchdowns 777 touchdowns last year then he like regressed this year which I don't know why I uh, maybe gotten hurt but still uh, he's a I think he's a solid running back uh, especially if you're, he's a power back in my opinion too, because uh, he's like, what, what is this? What's this? He is six foot two forty seven. So yeah, I think that would be a, a nice asset for the Carolina Panthers. Sign him on like a cheap deal. I don't think he's gonna be like an all star running back, but still, he's a power running back, and the Panthers definitely need somebody in the red zone instead of instead of a speed back, because we definitely need somebody that is a bulldozer, not like last year. All right, guys. Let me know what you guys think if you're a Panthers fan. Should the Carolina Panthers try to sign A.J. Dillon? If not, call me crazy. It's just a video, a topic that, who knows, could potentially be uh, up Carolina Panthers. But uh, we definitely need uh, a rushing uh, a running back that is a power back, in my opinion. All right, guys, Steph Ward here. Y'all have a great day. Keep pounding, and see y'all next time. Peace.